Here's a little bridge. I couldn't find any boats on this one. Another bridge. On here. Tail walks past. Oh, there's some people on horse over there. Wait, there's two people and one horse. I don't know how that works. So campsite. Coming up to another bridge. There's supposed to be a suspension bridge along here as well. Another bridge. Well, I got about 20 minutes out. And definitely wearing the long sleeve shirt was too warm. I took that off. I got my sleeves out and put them on. But if it gets cool, I don't like the wind on my arms, I can put them on. So some people say that the best time to hike is spring and fall. Because it's not too hot and it's not too cold. The problem with that is for day hiking, you're fine. If you're doing multi-day, and you're gonna have two nice days and one cold day, you still have to carry all the gear for that one cold day, even if you don't need it for the other days. So if you go in the winter, it's gonna be cold, use your cold gear. If you go in the summer, it's gonna be warm. Take your warm gear. Came up, and you can see on the right, that's where I came from, but there's another trail going up that way. And then we have a really nice trail here. So I'm guessing this trail, that one there, goes up to the lake. Trying to make sure this is actually the trail because there are horse hoof prints in here. And horses aren't supposed to be on the Appalachian Trail. But there have definitely been a horse or horses through here. So now I'm looking for a blaze. There's a little trail there that looks like a game trail. Okay, I am on the trail. And that other trail I found on Far Out, and it does not go to the lake, it does elsewhere. There's a tent site up on that too. So it's just another trail. Got another bridge. Still no blazes. But Far Out shows that I'm on the trail. There's another bridge. another bridge this one might be a little overkill signs like these are the ones that make me the happiest not the blue blaze the white blaze we got a fancy bridge from Pole in the Wild. The forest today has been changing. Almost mile by mile. That's an exaggeration. Oh, look, a bridge. But I've... So I stopped recording because I ran into a through hiker. I didn't run into him. I just came... I was walking south and he was walking north and we stopped and talked. Anyhow, he said there's hikers behind him, and he was glad to hear that there are some ahead of him. He said things are thinning out. There's not a lot of hikers. You can see how different this forest is than where I just was. this all the way down and then set your filter down in there and then screw it back up to catch the filter and then you still have a little bit of opening for the air but they're still connected.
bridge looks like it's kind of over a, either a dry creek bed or just over a little chasm. That's interesting. Burnt out tree. Must have burned a long time ago because nothing around it is charred. I was initially planning to go down to Dismal Falls. There's some campsites down there and stay there. But it's not even four o'clock yet. And I don't want to set up camp now. I could go down and see them, but it looks like it's right down off the ridge. So much. Back to civilization. There's a river down there. It's hard to see on the camera, but I believe that's Laurel Creek. And I think I'm gonna stay there tonight. The junior brought us around instead of down there. Thank you, Virginia. Get seeing this mountain. And I was like, well, that's where I'm going next. But the trail is going away from it. The trail just turned and guess where we're headed? Back toward that mountain. I'm not sure what we're registering for. I don't remember seeing anything that we had to register for. Alright, so I registered on their log. It's basically just tracking who's coming through. Came down there, across the road, and I see a bridge. And there's that mountain I turned away from on the switchbacks coming back down. So I'm going to say that's where we're going. Little campsite there, but I'm not sure if I want to be right up against the parking lot. actually a suspension bridge that swings around. I think this is a stump with the blue blaze that takes you to a hostel. But I just came off from the creek or the river. It says creek, it looks like a river. And I decided not to camp there. There were a lot of fishermen there. The road was loud bunch of dogs barking. So I came up here and I figured I'll just camp at the first place I see and I would really like a sunset tomorrow morning. It's Easter morning. I think it'll be cool to get a sunset. So the sun is going down over there which would make sunrise coming up over there. I think I'm gonna stay here tonight. It looks like it should be I know I feel like I wonder why this isn't listed as a place to camp. You're not supposed to. But it doesn't look like a sign saying you can't. So I'm gonna go up there a little bit. Get out of the trees. I think I'm gonna camp here. I ended up not staying down there on that flat. And something about it, I didn't like it. So I came up to this campsite, it's another 2.2 miles. It's little, but I think I can put my tarp there. And the sun is going down over there. The sunrise should be over there. I'm not gonna get a very good view of it. Oh well, it's not my best pitch. It'll work. A little combination here. Get the tarp, tarp up a little higher. I need to put it up higher on that side. But I don't wanna be right up against the tree. And also the tarp is inside out. That's supposed to be the inside. I double checked, but in the wind it must have flipped. I didn't notice. But it's not supposed to rain tonight, so I'm not going to worry about it. And here's the room that I have inside, so it's not bad. Probably going to go tighten everything because you can see that it's blowing in there. I put rocks on top of my stakes because it's windy and I'm on the top of the ridge.
I am making macaroni and cheese and I put some dehydrated vegetables in it. I got this Sinoc food case. I'm not sure if I like it or not. It's nice in theory, but to actually open it up so that you can eat out of it is a little difficult. So far, I've heard 13 bears, three mountain lions, two porcupines, probably a fox or a skunk. I think it's just the way. I hope so. I'm adding some tuna to my mac and cheese, and this is just not mac and cheese. This is Vermont's uh, pepper jack cheese. Mac and cheese, expensive stuff. There it is, tuna noodle casserole. Just like from your childhood. I didn't think this through, but pepper jack cheese is not good when you have chapped lips after sweating all day. Come get me now, bears. Actually, please don't. Wait till the morning and it's daylight and I see you from a distance. One more of a sunset there. I can't see it because of all the trees. Probably if I climb up there, I would see it. Fall off the other side, no one will see me. Can't see it very well. I'm not up on the top because there's a, I don't want to fall down there.